Hi everyone, hope you're okay. Today I have an updated what's in my handbag video for you because I haven't filmed, I don't know what that was, my, I just had like took a breath and it was like, oh, a bit weird. Um, I haven't filmed a what's in my bag video for a really, really long time. I think the last one I did was probably last March, which is quite a long time ago now. So I thought I would do an updated one as I do have a new handbag and it's a Michael Kors Selma bag. Yes, um, Santa aka Henry surprised me on Christmas morning with this beauty completely wasn't expecting it at all and I was very very shocked but um, I absolutely love it it's just the most beautiful handbag I've ever seen and I didn't ever think I would ever own one so I feel like incredibly lucky to have such a lovely boyfriend who obviously has very good taste in handbags um, and knows exactly what I like. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to do what's in it obviously and show you what I'm carrying around with me which is basically the kitchen sink. So I'm just going to get started otherwise we're going to be here for quite some time. Let's just get on with it. So first of all, so this is like what I take to me on an everyday basis. So like for, this is mainly like if you're, if I'm going to work, not really just if I'm going to town or Tesco or something like that, it's like a, my work essentials, if that makes sense. Um, so first of all, a little bit cringy, <laughs> um, I've got my One Direction lunchbox. Um, I do always feel every single day when I get this out of my bag at work, a part of me dies inside. <laughs> you guys all know that I do love One Direction and um, yeah, my sister bought me this lunchbox. Lunchbox is a bit of a jokey present for my last birthday. I don't have any other lunchboxes so I've kind of just used it. But usually if I'm not like with my friends at lunch, what I do is I like get it out of my bag like this and then open it upside down so no one sees it. Because it's kind of embarrassing a 22 year old having a One Direction lunchbox, but it does the job, it keeps like my lunch all in one place, spilling everywhere, um, and it's quite a nifty size, so yeah, this is um, what I take my lunch to work, my work, what I take, how I take my lunch to work, which is kind of cringe, but um, yeah, it's also quite funny, so that's in my bag, my lunch bag, so, because obviously it's cheaper to take my lunch with me, I have got my purse, I've just got a regular have kids in one it never ever seems to close it's kind of got um my cards my driving license which is now pink because i passed my test um and then it's basically just got like my boots cards and then it's just got some vouchers because i got some vouchers for christmas so i think i've got like an h&m one um and next one and then in here i do need to clear it out but i've got some lottery tickets um, i've got stamps i've got some dodgy passport photos which is just a bit rank really um so yeah i do need to have a sort out of my purse because it's ridiculous that it won't close but yeah i've got my purse with me um i've got my calf kids in little travel wallet so this holds my travel my rail cards rail tickets and my oyster cards so when i go to london it's all in one place and then all my train tickets are in this little bit so if i ever need to like look at them again or whatever and um, they're all in one place so yeah and that's easier to like carry around with me and i know that they're not going to get lost because if i put it in my pocket or i'm like holding it on the tube no one me i'll drop it so all in one place and it's a pretty cute um design as well so next is my everyday makeup bag, and again it's Calf Kitten, you're probably going to see a bit of a theme here, I like Calf Kitten. Um, so yeah, so what have I got in here? I don't, sometimes I take this in and out because it can be quite heavy, so I tend to like sometimes uh, substitute it. The one thing I always throw in my handbag is the Body Shop Coconut Body Mist, I absolutely adore this body um, mist. It's my favourite smell, coconut, and it's just a really, really good um, product, it kind of lasts know for a few hours it's quite strong but it's just a really really nice scent so I use that all the time and I always have that on me and um, what else have I got here I've got a cute dog nail file in case I have like a nail emergency and um, I've got a powder this is the Bordeaux healthy balance one if I need to like powder through the day I've got a Carmex in case I get dry lips Um, a very dodgy looking concealer in case I nasty spot um appears obviously like i'll just a brush to pop on the powder my travelo which um i probably should take out because i don't think there's anything in there i have a car max just in case um estee lord's double m maximum cover again looking a bit 
skanky really. Um, so yeah, I've got that just in case like I get spots or I don't know something happens and I need to like touch up my makeup. What is this? Oh, Mac Shiger. There's not much in there. Kind of think I should really give that one up. Um, and then there's just some hair bubbles. I've got a black eyeliner. This one's from Gemma Kid, so really really old. Um, and then I've got Benefit Mini What's Up. So in case I need like a bit of extra glow through the day. And then I have my ray plan, which um yeah, always better to be safe than sorry in my opinion. So that's okay, so next I have some tissues and these are really pretty like floral tissues, very um calf kidsony, but yeah, I got these in my Christmas stocking, so they're really cute, so I've got them in there in case I get like a runny nose. Um I've got a mini tangle teaser because it's winter and winter is the time, what's well, because any time of year, my hair, like especially like with scarves and big coats, my hair as can just look like a rat's tail. So I just carry a brush on me in case I need to give it a good brush and the weather has been so windy lately that my hair has just been looking kind of like, you know, in Bridget Jones when she's in the car and she has the roof down and when she gets to the hotel her hair is like, Phew. that's what my hair's been looking like when I've been getting to work. So tangle teas are just to like help me out there. Hey, okay, so I just had to recharge my camera battery because it died on me, so apologies if the video looks a little bit different. Right, so I think I was just about to go into the pockets of my bag before I got really interrupted by my horrible battery. Yeah. Um, okay, so obviously I have my phone, um, just a regular iPhone 4S, I think, a white one. Got a Lecav Kidson case. I don't think they sell this anymore because I got it last Christmas. So it might still be around. If not, it's from Cav Kids and you can get a similar one. And that's little Frankie as a puppy. That's the first day we went to go see him. And Henry fell in love with him. And he was just like, we can't leave him. So um, yeah, that's before he got like half the size of me, basically. What else have I got in these pockets? I have got not one but two hand sanitizers because I really am obsessed with like hand sanitizers I'm a little bit weird about the whole germs and keeping my hands clean well, it's not weird it's just good hygiene but yeah I'm I am obsessed and um I've got the body shop coconut hand gel which is amazing and then I've got this really cool one which is by Quash and it's 100% natural and um, it's a spray one which is quite cool so I got both of those in my Christmas stocking because my mum knows how much I love hand sanitizers so they're really cool and obviously carry them around with me all the time. In the next pocket I've got my current everyday kind of lipstick so I've got the collection Privé and this is Cheryl's nude and I think it's called Grage Glow and I have talked about this um, lipstick on many other videos but it's basically is just the perfect nude colour I love it even more because it's Cheryl's nude but apart from that it's the perfect nude colour for like my skin tone and my hair type it doesn't wash me out because some nudes just make me look like I am a corpse which is just not a good look unless I'm an extra on CSI so um, yeah, I have like the perfect nude colour, it's kind of like the perfect your lips but better colour and I hate, I hate saying that phrase because I think it's so cringe but basically that is what it is. So if you've got like dark hair and you like a tan like me, definitely would recommend picking up Cheryl's Nude. Even if you don't like her, it's just a really good nude colour. And then a gloss I've been went over the top is this one by Dior, it's the... Um, Dior Addict Gloss 433 Delice. I'm not sure if they still sell this because this was part of their summer collection earlier on this year. Um, and I spent, I got it with a voucher. And it's just a really nice, put some on. I think I just made a really, really face. I was like, <laughs> and it's just a really nice, like, peachy, not much colour to it. To be honest, like, for the price of it, it is a little bit disappointing, but... It's a nice peachy colour and the two of them together work really well but they don't work well on windy days because otherwise your hair is just like like that which is just not a good look at all. There's this really cool thing in this bag which I think is just amazing. There's a little strap which has got like a hook on it and you connect your keys to it. How cool is that? I think that is just revolutionary because I don't know about you but you always free keys in your bag and then when it comes to like you need your keys, you're hunting around and you're thinking, where are my keys, have I left them? And you get that key panic of, have you dropped them? Am I gonna have to, how am I gonna get a key? Am I not gonna be able to get into the house? And you're all panic. But this just means I can look for the strap, 
and fill it up so that's pretty cool so this is just my locker keeper work so not very exciting um but yeah i think that is like a little handy invention and michael kors bags are quite a lot of money and i think they're worth the price just for that just for that key strap that is just incredible i've got my ipod which is a pink nano i don't know what grade or anything but it's a pink one it's got like this clear case on the outside of it and then i've got like this wrapper thing um, that you can wrap the headphones and then you've got these bits because my headphones always get really really naughty and messed up um, so it just means that they're all in one place and I can just grab them and put them on probably it needs charging actually probably my favourite album at the moment is probably the new One Direction one um, favourite song I really like the song called Happily on it it kind of reminds me of being like in a hoedown or something not that I've been to many of them but it kind of makes me want to dance around to like Cotton Eye Joe or something. Yeah. And um, what else? Have and I got? then I've got like a pocket at the back, which I think would probably fit an iPad in, but I don't carry my iPad with me like day to day because I don't really feel like I need to. Sorry, I'm yawning, that's really rude. Um, yeah, I've just got a couple of cold and flu tablets because obviously this is the season where you get cold and flu. Um, so I just carry them around with me in my bag and I usually have like paracetamol and usually like girly bits in there if you know what I mean. Um, just in case I need them for that. That's basically day. everything that is in my Michael Kors bag. I can actually fit quite a lot on there but then that's just me. I do, I am good at fitting a lot into bags which is why I had to stop carrying around my city bag because by the end of the day I was like quasi-mode of like a hunched over back which is just not really a good look. So yeah, that is what's in my handbag. I hope you all enjoyed seeing an updated version. Um, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what video you would like to see next. So yeah, I hope you're all good and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye!